Jason. Look, I'm sorry to disturb you, but this is important. What do you want? <sighs> you startled me. You're in my room. Well, I knocked. Why didn't you answer? You could have had a gun. Okay, you must live an interesting life. Time to leave. Look, I'm here to do you a favor. Elizabeth Weber's boyfriend is trying to find her, so if you know where she is, tell her to hurry home before Lucky comes here looking for her. Go away. <laughs> Chill, no need to get hostile. You blackmailed my sister, you come into my room and now you won't leave? You want me to grab a couple guys from downstairs and drag you out? I was only trying to help. If you do find Elizabeth, tell her she owes me one. Got you, Elizabeth. Got you cold. She's gone. I have to get out of here. Not if she's waiting downstairs for you. Jason, she came in here because she wants to catch me. She didn't. What if she had? What would I have told Lucky? Huh? I told him that I needed time by myself. And I thought I did. I was on my way to my studio, and then a bus passed me, and next thing you know, I ended up here. I didn't... I, I didn't plan this. I didn't lie to him on purpose. Lucky would never believe me. He used to believe me no matter what. Look, I'll call a cab. We'll go downstairs, make sure G is gone, and then you can leave. Lucky doesn't understand what you do for me. And it's not his fault. I can't seem to tell him. Because, Jason, how do I explain to him that you listen to me? He tries. He really does. But he wants so much, and he's certain he knows what I want. I made him believe that. It's not fair of me to change. Oh, you can't help it. No one can. Do you remember the year of the Valentine's Blizzard? Lucky and I got stuck in the church. We promised to love each other forever. And then I spent an entire year without him. I never stopped loving him. And I never will. But I'm not the same person. And he wants me to be. He wants me to be who he promised to love in that church. I, I can't tell you what to do. I just know what happened when I loved someone and she loved me until I changed into a person she couldn't see and didn't want to know. I mean, she went on pretending that, that I was the same and I guess I pretended too. I didn't, I didn't tell her what my life was really like. I stopped telling her the things I wanted. until she took away what I love more than anything. And nothing mattered. It didn't matter why, how much she loved me. Everything was gone between us. You think you could have stopped it? If you said something or you compromised, You really think she's lurking in the parking lot waiting to catch me? Isn't, she, isn't that what she did to Emily this summer? Yeah, you're right. 
She's a snake and she always has been, and I'm practically begging her to catch me. Why, why are you so hard on yourself? Because I hate fires, and that's all I ever seem to do. I know, you're just trying to make everyone happy. When I should be making myself happy. That's where I'd start. Need your money, no, 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 it's for a cab. You could probably hitch a ride home, dress like that, but then I'd have to follow you and make sure you're okay. This way's easier. 